You guys love learning how to communicate with spirit. Have you ever wondered about some of life's big questions and wondered just how spirit would answer them? A few of you have even sent me lists of questions that you would want to ask my guide Spomi. So that's what we're doing today. We're asking Spomi. If this interests you, stick around. Hi, I'm Veronica, and welcome to The Wholeness Show. If this is your first time here, welcome. I teach people about intentional living and easy, practical spirituality, and I help people navigate their spiritual awakenings. If this is something that interests you, stick around. I wouldn't want you to miss anything good. And hit the subscribe button below if you find this information valuable. Most of the questions, emails, comments, whatnot that I get have to do with communication with your spirit guides. Since I began my spiritual awakening many, many years ago, as you know, I have just lived in constant contact with my spirit guides. They are my friends, my helpers, my guides, literally, as are yours to you. And sometimes when I have trouble getting the answers that I'm looking for, I take it up a notch and I ask for help contacting my guides. I usually turn to my daughters because uh, two of them are very psychically talented, as I've talked about here before. But what do you do if you don't have someone that can help you with this? What if you do if you don't have a pendulum or your energy is low and you can't really use it? What if you don't know who to ask for help with this? Well, thanks to Keen, the sponsor of today's video, we now have a solution for you. I've partnered with Keen today to bring you an amazing deal so that you can try a personal reader for yourself. Keen.com is a website that hosts vetted psychics and mediums, tarot card readers, you name it. You can get affordable readings for anything you're looking for, love, relationships, health, career, spiritual issues, whatever you're looking for, 24 seven. You don't even have to wait. You want your cards read? Check. You want to talk to somebody who's specifically clairvoyant or clairaudient or an empath or whatever the case may be? Check. They have it all. And you can choose how much you want to hear. Do you just want to hear the basics? Or do you want the actual nitty gritty tell me everything? Because some of you are a little more squeamish than others. I've had my eye on them for quite a while. And I would download the app to my phone and inevitably I would delete it again. Because even though, honestly, I'm immersed in this spiritual lifestyle and I'm in constant contact with my guides and I uh, learn from other people, I'm just in this world. I'm still quite skeptical and I'm very, very careful about who I get my information from, as we all should be. We all need to be discerning, right? So when Keen reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to give it a try and give them an honest review, I actually jumped at the chance because I finally want to see for myself how good this works. And because I have had my eye on them for quite a while, I've seen some really good deals coming through because when you sign up for their website or through the app, you get deals coming to your email every few weeks. So I've seen some really good deals coming through, but this deal that they offered me to give to you guys today was one of the best I've seen. So if you head to trykeen.com slash the wholeness shift, it will be on the screen here and it will be linked in the description below. You are going to get 10 minutes for $1.99. $1.99, you guys, for 10 minutes. That's amazing. Merry Christmas. You can thank me later. I was pleasantly surprised at how easy it was to sign up for this. You plug in your information and then you either have the choice to scroll through a list of readers and choose whichever one you think you'd vibe with, or you can fill out this really quick survey and be matched with a list of people that they think would be the best fit for you. And you can choose from the topics of, do you want a clairvoyant? Do you want a card reader? Do you, what do you want? Or you can just click, I don't know, or I'm not sure. And you can click on the topics you'd like to talk about. Do you want to talk about a specific thing like love, health, etc.? Or do you want a spiritual reading? What do you want to talk about? And what I know some of you guys are going to like is that 
you can either choose between calling them on the phone or chatting, texting. I chose to call because I'm old school and I just think it's quicker. So I would suggest that if you choose to chat, that you type out your questions first in note or something, and that way you can copy and paste them into the chat so that way you don't waste time typing out your questions. So what did I think of their psychics? Overall, I would have to say that I had a really decent experience. I actually talked to four of them. I chose four different readers and I asked the same questions of each of them. For legal reasons, I wasn't allowed to record the actual conversations and play that to you guys. Um, but I can say that three out of the four of them, I would go to again. They were pretty spot on. One of them was completely vague and general, and I would not recommend her to anyone. But she was also the one that had the fewest reviews and had the lowest price. So she was obviously newer to the site, so pay attention to the reviews and the ratings. What I like is that when you find one you like, you can favorite it. You can favorite that person, and that way you can they stay at the top of your list in your favorites, and you can refer back to them, you can call them whenever you want. Um, you don't have to just randomly go person to person or whoever's available. You can stick with your person. And I tried four of them, like I said, because I think it's important to try more than one until you find your best fit, until you find the one that you vibe with, you feel that they're the most accurate, and you can just go to them from then on. And I wouldn't say that I spent more than three or four minutes with any of them. You can accomplish a lot in just a few minutes if you have your questions ready. I had my questions ready and they were very quick to respond. And with that deal that you guys are getting for $1.99 for 10 minutes, it's huge. So if you're looking for a quick little reading, give it a shot. Go over to Keen, uh, trykeen.com slash the wholeness shift and give them a try. And if you do, let me know in the comments how yours worked out. So I think it's fair to say that Spomi has become a bit of a rock star lately. <laughs> you guys love hearing about him and you love talking about him. I asked him recently if people have been calling on him or talking to him since they're hearing about him in my videos and he said yes. And I've actually gotten a few messages from some of you guys saying that you talked to Spomi about this or that or you called on him for something. So yeah, that's because he's awesome. But let's not tell him that because it might go to his head. As I mentioned, we're going to cover five of the viewer submitted questions for Spomi, and I will let you know how he answers. For the sake of time, I did use my pendulum to get these answers prior to filming today. And when information comes through pendulum, if you've ever used it, it comes through in kind of choppy, broken sentences for the sake of time, you know, because if he spelled out every single letter, every single word, it would take forever. So I'm going to read it exactly as he wrote it, as he spelled it out, and um, we will go from there. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that I've gotten a lot of questions for him. And so I'm only covering five today. I think I'm going to start making this a regular thing. Um, so we can have a little series of these going on. So if you guys have any questions, for Spomi, feel free to either email them to me at thewholenessshift at gmail.com, leave them in the comments below, or send them to me on Instagram or Facebook or however you normally contact me. And while you're at it, why don't you take a minute to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I would appreciate it. Number one, and I'm going to read them off of the screen, that way I don't mess up how the question was sent to me. Okay, number one. Do comatose patients' spirits, as they are in a different consciousness, leave to the spirit realm, come back and forth? Spomi responded, mostly open-minded, not asleep. And I'm going to interject here by saying that spirit often uses the term open-minded with me when they're trying to convey that someone is operating more from a soul or a spirit level. Like when they say to open my third eye more or they're working on my third eye, they'll say open-minded. So when he says mostly open-minded, he's pro I'm assuming, Spomi, correct me if, you're, if I'm wrong, but I'm taking that to mean that this person is 
in more of a spirit-based mode versus physical body-based mode. Okay, so I'm going to start again. He said, mostly open-minded, not asleep. On other side or are out of body, can hear loved ones talk to them, are with guides. Depends on personal circumstances, will or will not remember. Not sleeping. So you're not just merely unconscious. You are still yourself as in soul-based self. You are spirit and you are flitting about, going about your business, hanging out with your guides, checking on your family. You can hear when people talk to you. You might be on the other side, hanging out, learning some lessons, just doing what you normally do as a soul. You're not just trapped there in your body sound asleep or comatose. Number two, when it's our time to cross, will we have to continue engaging with family, friends, etc., that we didn't want to be a part of on earth in the spirit realm? So when we cross over, do we still have to deal with people here that we didn't want to deal with? Spomi's answer was no. And then he followed that up with, Open your mind about quitting on family members. Choose love. Number three. If loved one's spirits are always with us, can, for example, a mother be with all of her kids in different places at once? Spomi's answer was yes. There's no limitations like that when you're in spirit and spirit is not bound in any kind of a physical manner. They can be wherever they want to be. They can be in multiple places at one time. Number four, do spirits sleep, go offline, comma, downtime? Spomi says, yes, downtime, no going offline, no sleep, no need for sleep, but yes, downtime. And I said, well, what do you do? And he said, I mostly meditate or play around with Trunaviv, which is another one of my guides, and I know he's one of a couple of your guys' guides, too, because in coaching sessions, I've learned that my guides are actually bringing some of their other people to me for coaching or leading you to my channel. So some of you may also have Trunaviv as a guide. So he said, I mostly meditate or play around with Trunaviv. And I said, well, what do you do? And he said, many possibilities, whatever we feel like in the moment. I mean, spirit, they can do anything. They can go surfing on the sun. They can watercolor. They can play guitar. They can build a house. They can do woodworking skills. They can whatever they want. There really are many possibilities. Number five. Why did we come here with such bad emotions like anger, grief, jealousy, spitefulness, when none of that exists in the afterlife? For some, it can be such immense suffering. And Spomi says, only suffering if you look at it as a bad thing. Open your mind to growth and expansion instead. That sounds like a very Spomi answer. <laughs> but it's good. It's good stuff. I mean, if, if you take that and you incorporate that into your being, anything that exists here is only bad if you look at it as bad, if, if you choose the perspective that this is all happening for my greater good or this is happening for a reason or a purpose, you can learn to appreciate anything, even if it seems horrible. You can find the silver lining within it. And then I asked Spomi, anything else you'd like to add before we close? And he said, open your mind, open your heart. Lots of love. So that wraps up our Ask Spomi session for today. And if you guys have any questions, remember to send them to me because I'd like to start doing this on a regular basis. And if you decide to take advantage of the Keen offer, let me know what your thoughts are. Did you have good luck with it too, or was it a dud? What were your thoughts? Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. Raise your vibes. Keep them high.